Shane, who hates being gay so much, he has a deadline for when he plans to go straight. Shane plans to go straight when he is 30 years old, which is 11 years from now. Um, Shane, uh, I want to talk about your relationship with Tia a little bit more. The, right. Tia was uh, your girlfriend for how long? For a year. For a year? Yeah. And you guys live together? No, we live together now. We didn't live together then. Okay. You live together now? Yes. Do you have sex with her now? No, it's not sexual. We're just best friends now. So now it's Will and Grace? Yeah. Okay. But it used to be Will having sex with Grace? Yes. Okay. Um, and then you left her. Why yeah. did you leave her relationship-wise? Why did you leave her? I left her because I realized I needed to have that sexual connection with a guy. But I haven't found anything that's, like, satisfying. And your first sex with a guy was with... Skyler. Oh, so well, Skyler was your first sex with a guy. Well, we didn't have sex, but my first uh, R Rolling around in the bed. Yeah. And kissing and making out and stuff. Yeah. Was with Skyler. What do you think about him, Skyler, about how he feels about himself? Because he, he says he hates gays so much. What do you think? Uh, well, I really think it stems from, like, him being out of touch with, like, his own feelings about homosexuality. He's uncomfortable with himself. Do you think he hates himself? That could be. Yeah. What do you think, Tia? Basically, I understand where he's coming from because I think a lot of people, well, a lot of gays that I've talked to, they understand, they want to be like a part of society and its rules and it's very conflicting to them because some of them do want to have a family in a way. What are your feelings uh, toward Tia, Skylar? She said that she's in love with you. Um, Tia is one of my best friends. I, I don't think I feel the same way, though. Have you had sex with Tia? No. Kissed her? Yeah. You guys have kissed? Yeah. Intimately. I know where this show is about uh, gay men that don't want to be gay, that hate being gay and being connected to it, but I, I have to ask you, Tia, why do you think you are attracted to gay men or men that live the gay lifestyle? You know what? Actually, I've always been, for some reason, I've always been that way. Really? I'm always drawn to them. It's been like that for a while. I want to grow out of it. I really do. You I don't wanna know grow why out it's like it? that. We're going to have to have you come back on another show or something because <laughs> that's like a life of unhappiness, of always wanting somebody that does not want you. A lot of people say it's fear of commitment, a lot of other issues that you could have. And we have somebody here that maybe can help you at the end of the show today. Even though it's not about you today, we're going to make it about you a little bit at the end of the show and get you some help, okay? Okay, Tara. All right. Um, joining us now is Greg. And Greg um, says he's gay, but he is afraid of gay people. So you're afraid of gay people, Greg. Well, I don't think, it, like, when you say afraid, it's not like, you know, cowering back in fear. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that I'm just really afraid of, you know, their self-confidence. Like, they can be who they are, and it feels like I can't really, like, be myself, and I have to have, like, a, a straight face on, you know, for most of the time, you know, to pass through society and, and stuff like that, but... So, are you afraid to hang around other gay people? You, you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, it's just like an uncertainty of, like, you know, what you expect. I mean, you know, you watch a lot of shows like Will and & Grace and stuff, and, you know, where I come from, you know, it's kind of a small town, and it doesn't really have much of a gay scene or anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just kind of get what the stereotypes are on TV and stuff like that. So, you know, I've... Well, there's two different gay guys on Will & Grace. There's Will, who's just kind of like... <laughs> more you know yep. and then there's Jack. <laughs> well, <laughs> well when i came out to um my sister well in my family and you know my dad was like you know is he uh like the the other one the you know i was like no dad you know i'm not like jack and my sister was like no he's like will and then my dad was like oh um you know will's gay so like it's just something that i haven't really been exposed to much yeah so what what do you um <clears throat> You, what do you want in life? Do you want to, to be married? Do you want children? What do you want? You know, Why like, are you afraid of this gay part of yourself? You know, I think that it would just be a lot easier, yeah, if you were straight. Like, you know, to have a, a family and have a, you know, a, you know, a wife, kids, and, and stuff like that. But, you know, I just want to be like everybody else and just be happy. You know, whether it's with a man, which it's going to be because that's who I am. You know, yeah. I'm gay. I'm not going to be straight, you know. But, you know, I think everyone you know, deserves happiness and to have be you happy. Ever, have you ever been around any type of gay environments, gay clubs, no. gay world? Nope. You haven't? No. Well, uh, Greg wanted a little help. Um, he wanted to see 
what this world is like, what it is like to be around gay people in groups. Uh, so he asked the Tyra Show to give him a little help, and we sent him out. Check this out. Greg's Aunt Dara wanted him to be more comfortable with his sexuality and thought that a trip to the city might do the trick. You gotta give it a try. I heard about this club and I thought it'd be a good idea for him to check it out. Come on, we'll have some fun. Just so that he could see it's not all about the certain stereotypes he's seen in the media. Hey guys, hey, what's going how's on? How's it going? Hi. Hi, what's your name? The guys that I met at the club are really nice, really genuine, and really friendly, and that's something that I wasn't really expecting. So are you doing anything yes. tonight, or? Um, I don't know, you know, do you have any places that you'd recommend? I had a really good conversation with this guy, Jeff, and he thought that it would be kind of cool for him to show me around the city. Jeff and I walked around the city for a while. He was showing me a couple places to go out to eat, and a few clubs and bars that he thought that I'd enjoy, and it was a really good time. Today has really opened my eyes, and you know, it's been an incredible experience. You know, I don't know where I'm gonna end up in the gay community, but I'm glad that I'm a part of a community that, you know, is accepting of me and I get to be who I am. Yeah, you know, it went nice. really well, and you know, I'm, you know, it's why I wrote to you guys to help me get, yeah. you know, more comfortable with, you know, a lifestyle that I'm going to be a part of. And I of. think it was very important that my producers put you out in the daytime, <laughs> and it wasn't like some bar that was mm -hmm. like, doo, 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 yeah. you know, <laughs> it was like, you know, it's it's normal. Gay mm -hmm. people are normal. They do the same thing that straight people do, and that was just a nice daytime place for you to see that it doesn't have to be some stereotype. Mm -hmm. You know, the stereotype is, is, is a minority. Yeah. Okay, your, your, your auntie is here, Aunt Dara. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, I, I find it interesting and, and actually positive that you're a family mm -hmm. member and that you felt he needed this. Why yeah. did you feel he needed this? Um, well, like I said, we come from like a small town and there's not a big gay community out there and he just really needed to get out there to be exposed to the diverse community and not just have that limited view of what we see at home. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Yes. So you don't hate yourself so much anymore. No. We're still working on Shane, though. We're working on you, aren't we, Shane? <laughs> still working on you? <laughs> we'll be right back.